what's up you guys welcome back to another vlog it's the start of a new week it's monday and this is a week that i've been looking forward to uh since last electric forest one year ago i leave tomorrow uh for my favorite festival of ever <laughs> um electric forest and me and three of my girlfriends are road tripping from here in georgia to the festival which is in michigan so we're giving ourselves two days to do the road trip and get up there because it's about 13 14 hours away and the festival is thursday through sunday of this week so i am i am absolutely so fucking stoked so i'm beginning my packing trying to decide what i'm gonna wear and all that stuff i was going through this picture frame that's in my room room because I wanted to switch out the picture in it and I realized when I went through the back of it that there was like an array like a collection of like six photos of me all from when I was small so I was like getting older and up until my senior picture and I didn't even know these photos existed because they were like behind the photo in the in the frame you know so I wanted to show you guys because it's kind of it's kind of funny, like the stages of little Lindsay. All right, so the first photo is <laughs> kind of embarrassing. A lot of them are my dance photos from when I was really small and I did ballet and my costumes throughout the years. <laughs> like, look how shitty that lip color looks on me. For our recitals, we had to like wear makeup and for pictures and stuff, so I was, <laughs> I guess I was into the beauty at a young age, but um, there's that one and then there's this one, which actually is pretty cute. <laughs> I don't know how old I was in this one. Maybe like, what do you guys think? Like maybe 10 or 9? I can't really tell. But young. <laughs> okay, this one is like my prime, you know, awkward. I luckily didn't have my braces yet, but it's like right before I got my braces and I started doing my hair like fl out flippy like my mom's hair. And <laughs> the costume. This was for jazz. And I think this was probably in like fifth or sixth grade maybe fourth grade okay this is oh i guess you know this one's before i had my braces too because look that gap <laughs> i think this is called like superimposing or something when it's kind of creepy because like my head is just floating above this photo of my body but actually really really liked this costume look how pretty that costume is so this was for ballet too and this was when i started to hate ballet <laughs> like right before i went into point the next photo is me on point and this is probably right when i was like quitting ballet still don't have my braces on in this one either so this had to have been i got my braces in like sixth or seventh grade so this had to have been in like i guess sixth grade when i did point and look how small i was <laughs> like i was skinny as hell y'all <laughs> dance kept me in fucking shape so all of those most of those were ballet and then this one is the one that was in the in the portrait this is my senior photo so this was taken the summer before senior year of high school, so probably looks familiar to you guys. But I'm replacing them because I kind of feel like it's weird to just have a photo of me in this. And just because I got this print recently, and um, this is in Idaho, actually. I got this when I was in Boise. I wanted to put it in the photo frame because it fits perfectly. So sorry, old Lindsay, but I'm going to replace you with <laughs> this. So I wanted to show you guys my wristband for this year because why not? It's super cute and I'm going weekend one so it has the little one and the little elephant. What I love about Forest is you get your wristband in this little bag and I still have my bag from last year. It's just like really pretty and cute so I'm gonna keep my candy and some stuff in there and then you get a little sticker which I am kind of not sure about where i want to put this i'm like should i put it on my laptop but then when i get a new computer i won't have it anymore um usually i put stuff like this on my suitcase but recently they've been like falling off and getting messed up when i travel so i don't know why i'm like stressing about this but if you guys have a good idea of somewhere where i could like safely put this sticker <laughs> let me know because i love it and um i made a few candy last night with some of my girlfriends i'm not usually like very into candy i haven't made them in years but they're kind of fun because something like forest you can just trade these with people and if somebody asks you to trade candy candy is the name for bracelets that you make yourself if you guys didn't know so these are candy um so i made a couple last night the ones that i'm most proud of are these ones i made happy forest ones because that's what you say to everybody there um literally the whole weekend you'll probably say happy forest hundreds of times and it's so fun and so I made 
four of these for my friends. So I made one for me and then three for my girlfriends and I already gave two to them. So this is for my friend Gabby that wasn't there last night. I made one that says life is beautiful. You can't really tell, but it's this one. And then I made um, like a rainbow one that doesn't have any letters on it with some of my rainbow beads. And then this one says reflective because this is the name of Base Nectar's new EP that just came out, which I'm really enjoying. Um, so I had to make that because the forest is full of all base heads. So maybe I'll trade that with somebody and give that to them. I'm packing up like my toiletries and makeup and some like vitamins and supplements and stuff that I, baby wipes, like things that I want to have at easy reach. Um, this is my backpack that I always take. I've definitely shown this to you guys before, but now I started putting pins on it. I think I've gotten almost every single one of these pins, except for this peach one, as a gift. So, yeah. Um, or just I've gotten them as, like, I got some of these in, like, a free, free with, like, an order that I placed online. I remember the guy who gave me this one. Um, a special girl gave me this one at... Okeechobee that I met on the first day and she just like came over to my campsite and started talking and that's like probably my favorite one That's on there. <laughs> the weed leaf one is from Ollie and um, The peach one I got for me nasty gal lipstick one I got in the mail and then there's like a couple eating or holding a slice of pizza <laughs> So yeah, some of them have fallen off like one fell off here and one fell off here the other day So I kind of hate when they fall off, but um, I'll probably get like a forest pin while I'm there I'm just gonna try and fit most of my stuff in my duffel bag besides my camping stuff, um, which I'll show you guys later when like I'm actually packing that stuff up But I'm picking out outfits right now So I'll talk to you guys when I have like more packed up because I'm not that far in my packing yet Okay, I'm trying on some outfits now and I think this is gonna be my outfit for one day. I'm wearing this bralette Kind of bralette kind of like a cropped lacy top. This is from Urban Outfitters and I'll definitely do some jewelry, so I haven't decided like the jewels. Oh, look at my hair. My hair looks fucking crazy. I was dancing around to Lord. <laughs> this skirt, I am actually tried this on for the first time and I love it. Um, I thrifted this in Boise and I'm definitely, I wasn't sure if it would fit, but it fits nicely. So I'm definitely going to wear this. This is from Mossimo from Target and I don't know, it's just cool. I like to wear just like flowy stuff that I can just move around. Um, and then I might wear this belt that I showed you guys that I also thrifted in Boise I'm not sure if I can get it to stay up. I'll probably wear this belt or like another belt. Okay guys I've made some progress. I think I have all of my outfits planned now I'll show you guys the progress that I've made. So here's stuff that I'm gonna pack in my duffel bag That's like pretty much ready to go. I already showed you guys this bag with just makeup and Toiletries and stuff like that. I'm gonna bring a coloring book. This one is really cool I've only started one of these and this was like a year ago. So I Want to do that and bring these colored pencils and hopefully this will go to go to use You know when we're just like chilling at the campsite or something some sunglasses This is like my little jewelry bag One hoodie my base nectar dream catcher hoodie, which I love an outfit for one day an outfit for another day another outfit and my outfits are kind of like I want to just show them when I'm there So I probably will do that. I mean I tried on my outfits, but they just look so much better when you have like your jewelry and like Makeup and jewels on and everything and then this is like some yoga stuff and some sleeping stuff I have bandanas um, under here is like my base nectar flag I totally planned out my outfit for nectar night, which is Saturday night of forest um, I got these in the mail recently, which they're called booty shorts, but they're really just like a pair of underwear, honestly. I'm going to be wearing them with fishnets, I think. So I love these. Um, it has the Nectar logo right here. It's kind of like holographic silver. I got these from, from a website called Slap Queen, and she makes custom designs with like anything you want on the butt. Another outfit, <laughs> a little pink velvet. And these are some extra shirts that I'm going to bring either for myself or for friends, because I definitely like to have options. This is stuff I haven't really decided if I'm bringing. I'll definitely probably bring this bandana. I have a few bandanas, um, beanie, um, jewels, lashes, floppy hat, a beach ball, random stuff. 
So all of this hopefully will be able to fit into my duffel bag. But then this is my other stuff that's kind of my more like camping things. So I think I'm gonna bring all of this. I'm gonna bring a yoga mat, try to do some yoga or just like have this around the campgrounds. This is my twin size air mattress, which is my best friend. This just changed my life. I'm gonna be sleeping um, in a tent for five nights this year at Forest. So I love this and you can get it from Amazon for like $30. I have a little fan. This is like a yoga mat cover. This isn't really essential, but it kind of goes with my mat. I don't even know if I'm going to bring this. This is kind of unnecessary yet. I haven't even really gone through this stuff. Um, this is my tent. This is some like stuff to have at the campsite, like safety pins, tape, the top of my tent, which doesn't usually fit in the bag. So that stays separate. Um, this I fill up with water. I started doing this at Coachella this year. Fill a spray bottle up with water and um, if it's really hot, this is like incredible. I don't know if I'll need to do it at Forest because it's not insanely hot there, but you never know. Um, a lantern, which let's see if this is lit up. Okay, good. That is lit up. So that goes at the top of my tent and lights up my tent, which is really nice. And then this is a cool little, this is like so unnecessary. I ne I always bring this and I never actually end up like using it, but it just is like a little ball that glows and changes colors. So like, I don't know, fun stuff to have at the campsite at night. So hopefully all that stuff will be able to fit with me in the car. I am still fucking kicking this cold and this sickness and I've been taking hella vitamin C emergency and i've been getting my rest so i don't know what's going on right now i'm gonna run um an errand i think i'm gonna go to target i need like some batteries and like something else i don't know i need a couple things at target i'm gonna run take one depop order to the post office i haven't had time to list my other my other things but they will be listed when i get back from electric forest i just I don't know, I've been sick and I haven't like done my depopping, so that's my own fault, but yeah, my thrifted things, don't worry, those will still be posted. This was a long clip, so that's the update for now. Guys, it's literally like fucking monsooning out here today. It's coming down so much. I'm at a red light right now, so it's all good. This is crazy, do you hear this? I just went to the post office and I'm on my way to Target, but I don't know if I want to get out of the car because I don't even know if there's like a freaking umbrella. Hopefully this stops, this is crazy. Okay guys, currently packing up the car to go and put all of this stuff, this is me and Isabel's stuff, into my friend Gabby's car, which is the car that we're taking. So, we're gonna go do that, and then who knows? My king has buried himself in the bed and he's taking himself to sleep. Look at you inside the pillows. Okay guys, it is later in the night now and basically I just dropped off my stuff at Gabby's, packed up my stuff in the car. Um, most of it, I still have like a couple things for tomorrow. Look how frizzy my hair is after I blow dry it. Like it's honestly super tragic. I'm gonna definitely try and straighten this in the morning. Tomorrow we leave for our road trip and I'll be vlogging again on Wednesday and we will be finishing our trip to Electric Forest. So yeah, I wanted to update you guys on how the vlogs are gonna go for the next few days because tomorrow is the last time that I'm really, tomorrow or Wednesday is the last time that I'm really gonna have, um, you know, like good, like internet access. I will be continuing my vlogging every other day and um, I might even vlog like every day of the festival a little bit but you will definitely get vlogs from Friday and Sunday of the festival um, and those will be up when I get back. So definitely also vlogging on so you're getting Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Those are all days that I'm vlogging before I get back from my trip. And um, I am gonna be bringing my laptop and I am gonna try to edit and use my personal hotspot to be able to upload at least like Wednesday's vlog, hopefully. Um, I'll already be at the festival, so it, it might not be able, those videos might not be able to go up until I get back. It just depends on how long my laptop battery lasts because I will not have access to electricity. I won't have access to actual Wi-Fi. Like I said, I can use my personal hotspot on my phone. Um, I'm not exactly sure how good it will be working in like the middle of the campgrounds. So yeah, don't worry, I'll be vlogging, but they're just gonna be like probably a bit delayed when they go up. We've done this before. This happened like last year during Sister Summer too, so 
you guys know the drill. I just wanted to say that and I'm gonna get some sleep and thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I will see you in Wednesday's road trip adventure vlog.